Hey, what's up? This is Ed for my Bring Back, and I'm curious if you've ever had the experience of seeing something, seeing a picture coming around the corner, see somebody watching television, taking you just a minute to figure out exactly what it is they're looking at. Take some time, take some context, but eventually if you can gather enough information, you can get there and you can have a similar experience with these plots we've been making in R. It can be tough for people to see exactly what it is you're trying to show them, that is, unless, of course, you are willing to add a legend. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today in our tutorial, is adding legends to our plots. So without further ado or Tom Cruise gimmicks, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are back to our base R GUI. Figured if we're doing base R plots, might as well use the base R product. And I'm going to read in some information from NFLCombineResults.com. I'm an NFL junkie. You've seen me use this type of data here before. Got the 2014 numbers for running backs and wide receivers. Did some cleanup on this material. And if you like, I can show you the file here. Well, let's do that. Okay, and you've seen this stuff before. Just wanted to give you a look at it in a different context. Got various pieces of information about people who have themselves measured in the 2014 NFL Combine. So that's all well and good. I've taken it and just gotten running backs and wide receivers out of it. Pop over back here to R. That's the CSV file I'm reading in. We can go ahead and execute this line here. And if we're curious about it, we can just look at it. Shouldn't be too much of a surprise there. There's the columns with the data in them. Okay, so what we're going to do is plot just the height and weight of these people. So we've got weight as my X values. Height is my Y values. I'm going to color it by position, so I should have two colors. We're going to label our axes as usual, so it's nice and legible to the reader. And then we're going to give the graph title, so let's go ahead and run that section of code there. And when I do that, I get a nice R plot as usual. I can see how much players weigh, how tall they are, get the general idea that the uh, taller you are, the more you weigh, possibly. It looks to be some sort of trend moving up as you head to the right here. But what I couldn't tell you is which dot belongs to which color. Now, I, I know this because I know that the red dots are wide receivers and the black dots are running back, but somebody just handed this plot would not know what they were seeing, and so that's exactly what a legend is for, is to show you what the symbols mean. And so adding a legend to a plot is pretty simple. It uses some of the same syntax that you would do for adding points to a plot like we looked at previously, and that is just with this function legend. So I've used a few of the parameters for legend. There are several more, but we're just going to explore a basic one. So the first one of these is top left, which is where the legend will appear on the plot. Um, the legend is a text string that will show you the values in there. So what I've done is done the unique values out of the column position from that RDBWR data frame, which is just going to be RB and WR. So you could also do something like oh, C and then RB. WR here if you wanted to, but we're just going to use something straight out of our data frame. Point characters, just like we would when plotting. One and one, they're both circles. Colors, once again, just like we would when plotting, black and red. And we'll give it a title saying position. So if I grab this chunk of text and execute it, I've added it to the plot. And if we figure out a way to open that plot back up, there it is, the graphics device. We can see it's put it right up there in the top left corner. And now I know it looks like in general. These wide receivers are a little bit taller and a little bit heavier than my running back. Maybe a bit of a surprise, but they're also more varied because they're in both the top right and the bottom left. So that's a very basic look at how you would add a legend to your plot and why you would do so to help people understand what they're looking at. Now, there are more things you can do with this. Um, and if you'd like to learn about those, you can just look at the help file for legend at R once again. Ooh, you know, time it right matters. Uh, R has excellent help material, but there's a variety of arguments you can use in that context. I want to show you just a couple of quirks about legend and anything else where you're adding to a plot as opposed to drawing a new plot, because which device you're plotting in becomes important, and legend is just always going to add to that, uh, that, uh, that current device. So if we just change this to top, and we run this again, what's going to happen, you'll see as we go back to our plot here, is that it's just added another legend and now I've got two of them. So what you need to do is redraw the plot. You can close the device and redraw it or just source the whole script again, something like that. But legend will only add. It won't replace whatever legend is already in there. So that's worth being aware of. And the other thing is that it's always going to place itself inside of your plot area. You can do it in the corners 
or on the centers of the side, or you can provide X and Y coordinates to place your legend with, but it's always going to be in that box. Uh, now, that might not be what you want. You might not have enough space. You might have too much density in your dot plot or whatever it is you're using. So I'm going to show you in the upcoming videos how to set your graphical parameters such that you can include legends outside of the box or multiple plots on one page, but that's just the tease of what's coming up next. So there's your information on legends. Continue to read, continue to learn, continue to come back and watch these videos, and we will continue to strive to give you what you need. Again, I'm Ed, working for my bring back, and thanks for coming along with me.